What's poppin' everybody? Several 54, and it's finally deck profile time. Finally, Empoleon deck time. Finally managed to get the cards to make the deck. Played around with it. It's kind of good. It's kind of good. It's not uh, super meta because they can play around Total Command, but it's pretty good. Empoleon, one of my favorite water starters for sure. Uh, doesn't surpass Swampert, but comes close. Still one of my favorite water starters. Super cool Pokemon. This card really is great. Uh, the HP is great, uh, the stats are great in general, uh, Tweet Tweet isn't that bad when you consider how good this Pokemon is. Uh, two great attacks, uh, got Whirlpool, you do 90 for 3 and you always discard an energy. Now sometimes this can come up, maybe sometimes you're going to do it to remove an opponent's energy, kind of disrupt them, do the kind of shit. But very rarely, uh, for the most part, uh, the focus of this deck and the focus of Empoleon is on total command. You put two water energies on this dude. It's not that slow. It's not that difficult. And we even have ways to help with that. Not just manually attach them. And you do 20 times for each bench Pokemon. Both yours and your opponents. So what this means is that if you have a full bench. It does 100 for 2. Not bad. But that's not really going to cut it. Uh, we need to get one hit knockouts for this to be super cool. So if your opponent has 5 Pokemon on the bench too. That's 200 damage. You know, with a choice band that's 230, you are going to be able to kill a lot of things in one hit, and that's pretty good. Now, as I've said before, many people know, uh, it depends on the bench Pokemon, so your opponent can completely play around the effect. If you yourself run out of Pokemon, uh, you kind of get fucked in your own. Of course, we build the deck to be able to have Pokemon to play on the bench and shit, but, I mean, it's still something. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, having a lot of difficulty showing games because a lot of the games that, uh, not showing games, but finding good games to show, a lot of the games that I either just fucking uh, win in a couple of minutes and I can't really show those, or then the times when I fucking uh, lose it's just because I brick and shit, so uh, either I win too quickly or I lose too quickly. I haven't really played any very good solid games, only a few. So it's difficult to show you guys some games, but I will have a few. Anyway, back to the deck. Now, this guy will run a 4 Piplup line. It's great. With 70 HP, that's excellent. Very good HP. Uh, and 1 Printplup. This guy is also kind of nice too. 90 HP. Uh, maybe it's attack and come up sometimes. But uh, I'm running this guy as opposed to the other one, the Piplup uh, concept original DP art. <sighs> Whatever the fuck I just said. But not the other Piplo with 60 HP. Uh, it can have a little nice effect that can do like 20 for 1 spread, uh, snipe, whatever the hell it is. But the 10 extra X HP is very important. Uh, with the 10 extra HP, what this means is that you can actually survive much easier if you go up against the Decide IGX deck. If they bring three of those guys around, I've noticed uh, that... Uh, you survive with 10 HP, and that can sometimes be enough to save your ass. Survive for the turn to evolve and shit. Okay. And this guy, I ran four of him. Not just three. But I had to take it out for a random receiver. It was either going to be a uh, choice band, but we need the choice bands. I'm going to talk about this later. So you can do four if you like. But I tried to make this deck as consistent as possible because uh, it flows nicely, but when it bricks, it bricks hard. Now, the other Pokemon that are going to be partnered up with uh, Empoleon is, of course, going to be the Mana EX here. The only X Pokemon. Uh, it's great. Give us free retreat when we have water energies on. Uh, the 120 HP isn't that good. People can take advantage of it with Guzman shit. But it's still a very nice Pokemon. I'm definitely going to miss it when it goes away. Next, we gotta have our Lapras GX, and this Pokemon, I think it's self-explanatory. Uh, great HP, all around three great attacks. You can draw cards if you start with it. You can use Blizzard Burn with a Choice Band, you can get some significant knockouts. Ice Beam GX can also be handy if they don't use Switch and shit. Great Pokemon all around. But I think Tapu Fini GX might even be better. Uh, this Pokemon is great in this deck, in my opinion, since it doesn't have a weakness. I really dig that. Uh, better retreat with just one. Aqua Ring isn't really something that we're going to use, although it does come up. 
and you just bring then a wall like Volcanion to just stall. Uh, hit that as opposed to this, and then you soften up your opponent. But the main thing is for Tapu Storm GX. This is actually a very good GX attack. Uh, it has a bunch of limitations, of course. You can't just do it first turn to win and shit. But a lot of the times what happens is I'm setting up. This guy might be active. My opponent, they play like a bunch of Max Elixir, set up something, start attacking. You can do this to slow your opponents down. It's actually, it has helped me a lot more than Lapras in a lot of games. Of course, Lapras is great, but this Pokemon is very good too. Hydro Shot, it's a nice snipe. Sometimes maybe you can use this too. And you are going to be able to attack with other attackers besides Apollyon. Late game, if you didn't use your Aqua Patches, which is uh, not really that surprising. Uh, you can just play a bunch of these, manually attach water energy. And before you know it, you can either attack with this guy or Lapras. So it's not out of the question that you'll be able to use other Pokemon than Apollyon. They're not just here for decoration, just to put Pokemon on the bench. Next up, we got Volcanion, the last water Pokemon. This guy, honestly, is all around perfect. There's nothing really bad to say about this guy. As a Prism card, he has 160 HP. It's excellent. Sauna Blast, it's also an attack that you might be able to use if you use Aqua Patches and a Water at Energy Attachment. And you do 120 damage to everybody else. It's pretty good. Uh, but mostly, the reason this guy is in is, of course, Jet Geyser. Uh, I like this ability. We discard a water energy and we force our opponent to switch something. I've used this times many times to fuck up my opponent. Uh, it's really good. You discard a water energy to set up the aqua patches too. It's great. So nothing really wrong with this guy. So these are all the water Pokemon. I do of course have my Mime as you guys always know. Great card. And two Tapulele GXs. So normally I would run one, but since I need to, de to make this deck as consistent as possible, uh, we can't run a lot of other shit that we run in other decks. And because honestly you need a lot of bench Pokemon, at least so that you can have a full bench if your Pokemon start dying. Uh, we just have 11, it's not really that many. I mean, I run 11 Pokemon in decks that really don't even focus on uh, attack like Total Command. So 11 Pokemon along with the Stretcher. Uh, hopefully that's enough so that we always have a full bench or at least four Pokemon maybe so we have a slot to play this down maybe when we need to get a supporter but you want to have five Pokemon around and do as much damage as you can uh, because like I said your opponent can play around the effect and if they do you're having trouble getting knockouts if you can't get knockouts this guy becomes pretty weak uh, they can just use like a rolling shit it's a stage two you do some shit to get him out if they, you can't get one hit knockout, so the deck becomes really weak. It, I've built it to get one hit knockout, so uh, the plan goes to hell if you can't do that. All right, so our 15 Pokemon, we have a very big trainer skeleton. Uh, naturally, like I've mentioned, the Aqua Patches, uh, water support, it's a great card. It helps the deck a lot. If we didn't have this, uh, this deck would have been even weaker. Uh, with Aqua Patches, we can make some combos, put Water Energies in the discard pile, and power up Empoleon even quicker before the opponent knows that it's coming. Power up the other attackers is perfect. I wish I could run four, but this card can brick, it can clock, it can be dead early, and it might not even be bad to, to just take out one and just have two, but I really like the ability to grab free energies, so three is over here. Uh, for other water support, and the stadium, Brooklyn Hill, of course. Uh, this card is great. Grab me water Pokemon every turn. Goes perfectly with Empoleon, helping him fill the bench for total command. And uh, just grabbing water Pokemon in general. This is why I only have one Nest Ball. Uh, combined with this and the Brooklyn Hills, we're good to go. This is the ball we're searching. And the other ball is Ultra Ball. Now, normally, when I run a deck like this, where you discard cards or discard energies in this case, I run four Ultra Balls, or if it's expanded, then three Ultra Balls and one Computer Search. Uh, that does the trick. Now, in this case, not only it's because of space, but this guy can also discard Water Energies. You need to discard Water Energies to get the Jet Geyser effect. So, that's why. And honestly, it's not like a Dark Ride Turbo shit. I mean, we don't really necessarily need to put a billions of energies over there. Just a couple. And you don't even need to use this like immediately. It's mostly for late game. 
I mean, even if you don't manage to use this and you just manually attach water energies and then by the time you do get water energies over there where you're in Polyon's Dine and shit, you use this, it's fine. I don't really know how to explain it in that you have to play games to understand, but three Ultra Ball is fine, what I'm trying to say. You don't need to go with four. Uh, we have this guy, like I've said. It's it's okay. Gotta have my four hour candies, of course. Bring this guy out quick. Yeah, we got the professor's letter. I had two of these, but I had to take one out. I really had to make a lot of adjust adjustments, make this deck as consistent as possible. I uh, took out some things, like I've said, one Napoleon, uh, one letter. I actually would rather have more water energies in here too, but uh, you gotta have your shit. Okay, and that's basically it. Everything else is just our standard text. I have the one switch and the one float stone right here. Gotta have those. Uh, the stretcher is always in, of course, almost always in if I'm not running Super Rod. Uh, this card is great. I can shuffle three Pokemon to the deck and grab somebody, play it on the bench instantly for total command, or get an Empoleon. I'm really, I really just want to grab an Empoleon with this, to be honest, when I need it, when I lose a couple, because uh, with three, I mean, it's not bad, you can get the job with three, but I really wish I could have four in this case. Since he really is a main attacker, you want to attack with this guy almost always. You really just want to put this Pokemon to your opponent's face. 160 HP stage to Pokemon. Uh, they have trouble killing it. They only get one prize. Uh, I really just want to get a bunch of these out quickly, par them out quickly, and then attack with them. So, yeah, that's why three, it's going to do the job, but four would have been better. So if I like have to discard one early, and maybe with a Sycamore, you don't have much of a choice, and then you only have two left, uh, you know, if you lose this, or if one of them is prized, and stuff like that, you can be in trouble. So that's why. But we can grab Tapulele, we're mostly going to grab anything if we need to. Uh, field Blower, did I mention Field Blower? I don't remember, uh, but you got to have this too. Uh, this was also one of the cards that I considered taking out. But after playing some games, uh, this card is quite important. Uh, Parallel City is still around, of course. And not only do you want to just get rid of uh, tools and shit for your opponent, uh, the float stones and maybe the choice bands and shit, but uh, getting rid of that stadium, uh, it's important. You're not only just going to have Brooklyn Hill uh, to just remove it that way. So it's an important card. And like I've said, uh, if you just run one, if you discard it, then you never manage to use it. So with two, uh, it fucks up the consistency, of course. I know this, but it's just some text that I gotta run. All right, now for the choice band, the last card. This card is super important. Uh, even though Total Command can do 200 damage, your opponent needs to have a full bench, you need to have a full bench. And 200 damage, while great, it doesn't necessarily get one-hit knockouts on a lot of the GX Pokemon. Zorak doesn't die. Uh, Glaceon doesn't die. A bunch of other Pokemon don't die. The Stage 2 GXs don't die. I can't think of any other Pokemon, but you guys know. I mean, Lycanroc is going to die with 200. But they, they just don't really die, a lot of them, if you don't have this. And some basic Pokemon like Buzzhole, if they play Fury Belt, then you definitely need this to kill them. Otherwise, you can't even kill that guy in one hit. So it's important. I consider taking one out, but you really just need it. I always want to have it. There's even times where I have three and I just don't have it around when I want it. So it's an important card. Maybe sometimes you're going to put this on Lapras GX and kill something that way with Blizzard Burn. It's just a great card. Maybe you discard it. It's just great. If you want to play less than that, Okay, but I aim to play three of these for now. Okay, so for the supporters, we run a fuckload of supporters because it just it seems no matter what I did, I'm just like, okay, let's put another supporter, another supporter. So with four Ultra Ball or three Ultra Ball, but we still discard a lot of cards from the hand and shit. Uh, Lily is great. I would rather just get this turn one with Tapu Lele as opposed to Bridget. That's just me. Especially since we have Brooklyn Hill and shit. It's just great. I like this card. And we're going full ham with Cynthia. Four of these. Just consistent, consistently draw six cards as opposed to using shit like N. But N is still good. I run one of these. 
Or maybe you can do three of these and two of that guy. You can just do anything, but uh, I'm going full ham with Cynthia. I really just want to draw and shit. You gotta have the three Sycamore. Sycamore fucks me up in this deck a lot, but I don't want to play less than this. I discard sometimes some shit that I really don't want to discard. Double Sycamore and shit and all that stuff. But hey, I always run three in most of my decks, and I'm probably going to keep running three of this, three of Juniper and Expanded. Got to have the two Scala, of course, since it's a stage two deck. You want to run a, you want to get your rare candies and shit. And the last card is the Random Receiver. This is the latest edition and the last edition. Hopefully I don't have to change this deck again, but I don't think so. Uh, the way it is, I think I really dig it. I took out the Empoleon for the Random Receiver. Now, this card can also be kind of shitty. You might have a Sycamore in hand. You really don't want to use this. And you use Random Receiver, then you grab another Sycamore. So you just got fucked even harder. But a lot of the times, uh, she's going to net you Cynthia. Uh, she's going to net you N. A lot of useful supporters. And it's good. I really just want to have some more just regular items that can just grab me shit. Since we don't have Trainer's Mail. Uh, man, when we get Acrobike. Might start using that too. Uh, even though I didn't really use it in the past. But I think now we're going to have to use it. But yeah. Random receiver. Even with the double Tapulele and all these supporters. It just seems that I'm always. I always brick sometimes. And I brick hard with this deck sometimes. And it really annoyed me. That's why I decided random receiver. And remove an Empoleon. A lot of the times it was the Empoleon that was kind of dead in hand. I had like a bunch of Empoleons early. When I couldn't really use them. So that's why Empoleon, it just felt like remove one. Uh, if you're going to get one hit knockouts with this guy, you don't need like a billion of them anyway. So yeah. So that's basically the deck, guys. Uh, the last thing is the water energies, 11 of them. I would like to have 12, but 11 should be enough. Uh, our attackers are kind of cheap. Empoleon is kind of cheap. Got a bunch of these too. You want to you wanna make this deck kind of turbo. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, you don't want the game to drag, maybe. If it drags, it drags. But I really just want to get this guy out quick. Start attacking quick. Put the pressure on. So, 11 energy should be good. Okay. So, that's basically the water and poly on deck, guys. Uh, the metal one obviously has a bunch of bonuses, too. But uh, the water one is just better, I feel like. I think I like the metal and poly on, maybe. Uh, or maybe I just like this guy more. I don't know. In the beginning, I thought I liked the metal one, but when I play with this guy, I think I like him more now. Maybe it's because we don't get a lot of metal and polyons, that's why. But this is obviously the better one because you can take advantage of uh, Aqua Patch. You can take advantage of all the water support we have. Mana VX. Use shit like Lapras GX and shit. Now, with the metal ones, of course, you can get some specific support too, but... Uh, not so much, I guess. Things like Magnezone and Metagross GX don't really help this card. So, the Water one is definitely the best one, perhaps. And the Lightning Weakness, not a lot of competitive Lightning shit is around. Uh, maybe Raichu GX, I guess. But other than that, you know, it's a okay weakness to have. This deck can't fuck up a bunch of decks. Uh, like I've said, the Choice Band is very important. Because sometimes when your opponent, they just have like three bench Pokemon or four bench Pokemon and you have four or five and they have four and shit and you can't quite you don't do like 200 you do like 180 or some shit but that choice band is going to save your ass you can do like 190 or 210 with that uh, with the maximum value is 230 and it puts in the work it helps with one hit knockouts so that's why but he can still put in the work against decks like Malamar where they easily fill up the bench uh, you can kill them it's actually quite effective on it, I think, maybe. I mean, if Alternate Cosmos starts fucking you up in one hit, and you're having trouble getting out the Empoleons, then yeah, the deck wins, but uh, you're going to have a better prize lead since it only gives one card, one prize. So it's a good matchup, honestly. It's a good matchup. It's not that bad of a matchup, I think, like... Honestly, it all goes on how well your deck flows, if it flows nicely. This is the best version that I've come up with. I'm not the greatest player in the world, but it works for me. So, hope hope it works for you if you decide to copy it 100%. But nothing wrong with that. 
this is just for my style. Uh, maybe you want to take out the text for other supporters and consistency cards. But yeah, this is Empoleon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say so, Roll for 94. What's up?